NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and then use the planet's orbit to get an 8,500 mile per hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500 meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes. Keep watching for more space stories. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end, and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused 10 times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. Saturn Probe enters grand finale. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has begun the final stage of its mission after nearly 20 years traveling in space. The Cassini spacecraft entered its grand finale orbits between Saturn's cloud tops and the planet's rings on April 26, 2017. According to NASA, Cassini survived its first dive between Saturn and its innermost rings, sending back never-before-seen images of the planet's atmosphere, including this hurricane. During the dives, Cassini will measure ice and other content in Saturn's rings and take measurements from the planet's rocky core. Cassini will enter its final orbit on September 15th, in which it is expected to destroy itself by flying directly into Saturn's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft was launched in October 1997 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to reach Saturn. NASA wants to explore a metal asteroid worth 10 quintillion U.S. dollars. NASA says it plans to launch the Psyche mission one year earlier than planned. The mission will explore the metal asteroid called 16 Psyche. The 16 Psyche asteroid is located in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This asteroid is primarily made of iron and nickel. The amount of iron in the asteroid is said to be worth around 10 quintillion U.S. dollars. This is a value exponentially higher than the combined GDP of every country on Earth, which totaled about $74 trillion in 2015. The Psyche mission is expected to be launched in the summer of 2022, and it will arrive at the asteroid in 2026. 
It will perform science operations from four staging orbits, with the closest orbit only 45 to 128 kilometers above the asteroid. The spacecraft's instrument payload includes multi-spectral imagers, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, magnetometers, and an X-band radio telecommunication system. The objective of the mission includes determining whether the asteroid is an exposed core or if it is unmelted material. Researchers also hope to find the relative ages of regions of the asteroid's surface and to characterize its topography. The mission design team developed a trajectory for the mission that eliminates the need for an Earth gravity assist and allows the spacecraft to stay further away from the Sun. This shortens the original timeline by four years. The Heliosphere, NASA's Voyagers Beyond the Solar System. NASA's twin Voyagers, both launched four decades ago this year, have traveled to the edges of and beyond our solar system and through the heliosphere. That's basically a giant solar space bubble protecting our solar system from deadly cosmic rays. NASA's Voyager 2 launched 40 years ago on August 20th, 1977. It's currently in a region of space known as the heliosheath. This forms part of the heliosphere. That's a giant multi-tiered magnetic bubble originating from the sun in which our solar system resides. The heliosheath is a turbulent region of space that has 700 km per hour solar winds. The prefix helios comes from the Greek titan god of the sun. The heliosheath is past the termination shock, an outer limit of our solar system where these winds are impacted by interstellar winds. Outside the heliosheath is the heliopause, an area that balances both winds, sending them back down to the tail of the heliosphere. And beyond that is interstellar space, the space between stars. This is where Voyager 1 currently is. They've got enough power to last until 2020, after which NASA says they'll be destined to drift through the Milky Way for, probably, all of time.